What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Healthier Choices Management Corp, ticker symbol HCMC. We're going to be doing a little bit of a deeper dive into Philip Morris's motivations for filing their motion to dismiss. So we're going to go over all of the information that we have available to us right now from the different court filings that we have. We're also going to go over a very possible reverse merger that HCMC could engage in and become traded on the uh, New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So if we look at the chart of Healthier Choices Management Corp, we can see that it had a massive 6,500% run before uh, having a very significant sell-off. Now, when penny stocks like HCMC run up that much, uh, it is very common to see a massive sell-off. A lot of people want to take profits no matter how good the future prospects for this company are. So this company is now trading at 0.0018 and it is on the OTC market. So this company is extremely risky. Uh, they do have uh, some potential for the future with their Q cup technology. And if they win their lawsuit against Philip Morris, which it looks like they have a high possibility of doing, we could see this stock become a really good growth prospect for the future, but it is incredibly risky. And if you're going to put any money into this company, I would consider it gone. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, no, nothing I say is financial advice. These are for educational purposes only. I just want you guys to know the risks you are taking when you are trading stocks like HCMC. But I do think there are some good possibilities for this stock going forward. So let's go over and take a look at the docket for this uh, lawsuit. So coming over here, we can see that Philip Morris filed a motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim with brief in support by Philip Morris Products SA, Philip Morris USA, Inc. So essentially what they're doing here is they are trying to buy time. Uh, as we're going to see a little bit later in this video, they did not counter sue and they didn't offer any counterclaims to this lawsuit. This motion to dismiss is kind of a last ditch effort to get the judge to completely uh, rule out this case and actually uh, uh, take away any liability that Philip Morris would have to pay Healthier Choices Management Corp any type of settlement. So coming over here, we can also see that this Redditor says that Philip Morris has not provided a counterclaim against HCMC. Surely, if you thought a violation was made against a product made by Philip Morris, you would argue that they created and patented it first. We are not seeing that here at all. So it seems like Philip Morris, again, is just trying to buy time to figure out exactly what they want to do. And two, if Philip Morris believes that Healthier Choices Management Corp has a completely different product slash patent, why wasn't this case ruled out much? Months ago, you would be inclined to think that the judge would have said there is no evidence of infringement on behalf of Philip Morris. Now, that seems like it would be correct. Uh, if there were no grounds for this case, uh, this a lawsuit would have just been thrown out. But the CEO of Healthier Choices Management Corp practiced law for, a, for an extensive period of time before he became the CEO of HCMC. Uh, and they have a great legal team backing them in this lawsuit. So I don't think that they would enter any sort of legal battle unless they really thought that they had a great chance of winning. Now, especially against a large company like Philip Morris, who has deep pockets and a very experienced legal team, there would be no benefit to going against Philip Morris if you were a smaller company and you had no chance to win. Now, since we did see this uh, motion to dismiss, this case could get drawn out for a very extensive period of time. Now, coming down here, uh, there is one post that says, and after the judge rules, Philip Morris then has two weeks before they have to answer the lawsuit since they filed the motion within the 21-day window to answer the lawsuit. Then once this happens and they're actually going back and forth, we could see this lawsuit get dragged out for years. So if you are a shareholder in HCMC at the current time, uh, I would be pre prepared to hold your position in this stock uh, for at least a year. We've seen a couple uh, lawsuits similar to this where a smaller company sues a much bigger company. And even though they have a lot of grounds for the lawsuit, the bigger company always has a bigger bankroll to be able to drag out the lawsuit 
as long as possible and put off any responsibility that they have for any infringements that they committed to a later date. And I think that is what we could see happen in this lawsuit. The IQOS technology, that is the uh, uh, the basis and the, the topic of this lawsuit, is a very big revenue source for Philip Morris. So they do not want to lose this revenue source. So in my opinion, I think they are going to settle. Uh, and there's a couple of ways that this can go. Uh, Philip Morris can issue a lump sum settlement. They can buy out Healthier Choices Management Corp, which would be very interesting to see. Or they can offer somewhat of a smaller lump sum settlement and offer uh, Healthier Choices Management Corp a residual payment every single time and an IQOS device is sold. That, in my opinion, would be an amazing option since that would create a recurring revenue stream for Healthier Choices Management Corp for the future. Now let's get into a very interesting situation that could play out once uh, Healthier Choices Management Corp has some more money on their balance sheet. So coming over here, we can see that HCMC and MJ&E currently have a partnership. So at the present time, our major supplier of these Q-Cups, which uh, Healthier Choices Management Corp produces, we entered into an agreement with Healthier Choices pursuant to which we agreed to purchase $2 million worth of their Q-Cups. We will fill this patented technology with our products and distribute to retailers for consumption by purchasers using a number of readily available vape dispensers. Healthier Choices is the exclusive supplier of Q-Cups. So that's important. They already have a partnership with mj &E. But MJE has a big catalyst coming. On February 18th, 2021, uh, MJE filed SEC Form A, which leads me to believe that they are getting ready to go public. Now, when you file a Form A, uh, this Redditor uh, actually linked this down here. The Form uh, 8A is required by the SEC. Uh, from companies seeking to register securities. It must be submitted before securities can be offered on an exchange. It is also known as the registration of certain classes of securities and the short form registration statement. So essentially what could happen is uh, MJ&E would be able to go public via the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. And since they already have a relationship, a very strong relationship with Healthier Choices Management Corp, if HCMC uh, is able to uh, win a very large settlement, they will be able to perform what is called a reverse merger where they buy out a, a currently publicly traded company and then trade either under their ticker symbol or change the ticker symbol back to HCMC. We've seen this happen recently with Humble and TSNP where TSNP was a dead company. They Their business model had nothing to do with what Humble does. Humble offers uh, like a blockchain ETF type product and TSNP was in the uh, uh, the construction business and uh, like hardwood flooring and stuff like that. But they uh, were a failing company and Humble decided to perform a reverse merger in order to be listed under their name. And then they are going to be changing their ticker symbol to Humble a little bit later. I think that this is very possible with MJ and E and HCMC. Now, uh, I think what needs to happen first is this lawsuit needs to get filed. It would just be too much going on uh, if if uh, HCMC tried to do this reverse merger before the lawsuit was even settled. So in conclusion, uh, I think this lawsuit is going to be dragged out for a long time. We are going to see some pretty massive catalysts coming up for HCMC when Philip Morris has to answer and if the judge rules to dismiss this uh a motion to well, dismiss this lawsuit through and grant the motion to dismiss. So that is going to be it for this update on Healthier Choices Management Corp. If you guys enjoyed the information I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video.